We live in a world right now where we don't actually physically need to be close to each other. We collaborate with research scientists all over the world. But what also is very important is actually being able to have that physical interaction. My area of expertise is in fungal genomics. Genes and their actions in plants. Trying to understand the impacts of global climate change on the oceans. Uh, engineer microorganisms for making chemicals or, or, or pharmaceuticals or biofuels. We see genomics as not a, a single approach. People that are not actually working on the same projects still interact on a daily basis. So having an open lab concept like this actually facilitates a lot of the physical interaction. You need that immediate interaction from someone that's next to you. Your first idea is never your best idea, and being able to share your ideas that sort of lead to these, what people call eureka moments. There's a lot of informal exchange of expertise. To have people tell you that you're wrong, to have people tell you that you might be right, uh, and to have to actually defend your ideas. That is one of the major draw for the center. So what the center has really allowed us to do, I believe, is to create a legacy uh, in, the, in the era of, of genomics and environmental genomics. The changes in the field in the last, let's say, 10 years have just been phenomenal. And the importance of creating a legacy is to be able to sustain cutting-edge advanced research over a long period of time. Those changes and the advances in technology really have pushed the field and really justified the creation of a center like this. So it's, it's, it's certainly the, the research scientists that Concordia has at the moment and will likely recruit through the future, I think, that um, will bring some of the newer scientists, the younger scientists, to the to the campus and to the center. The design of having large uh, labs in which multiple groups can work in a single laboratory is really critical for this exchange. So if you're gonna uh, go to a, a high-flying research and you basically tell them that you're limited by your creativity and your desire to do some, some interesting science and you're not limited by your space or your equipment, that to me would be an, an immense selling point for anyone wanting to come to this place. And it's an immense selling point for me. All the instruments in here available for everyone on campus, including everyone outside of campus in the greater Montreal area. And this is the kind of environment we like to work with. So for me, the most important thing here is really to create a legacy in an environment that allows us to do some research for, for many, many years to come. <laughs>